So we should then receive a form 1099-R showing the total amount of any distribution from your IRA before income tax or other deductions were withheld. The amount uh, should be shown in box one of form 1099-R. Now note that if you're doing taxes for uh, older individuals past retirement age, you would expect to receive 1099-Rs. That would be a normal kind of process because that's when you would expect the retirements to be happening and those could be taxable events at that point in time. And we'd have to do tax planning based on how much tax they would owe based on how much they're gonna pull out uh, uh, of these kind of plans. However, you also might get like a 1099-R when someone's still in their working years. And that's scary because that might mean that they pulled the money out early, not only triggering a taxable event, but possibly substantial penalties. So that's the thing to be careful about. So un unless otherwise noted in line 4A and 4B instructions, an IRA uh, includes a traditional IRA, Roth IRA, Simplified Employee Pension SEP IRA, and Saving uh, Incentive Match Plan for employees, a simple IRA. So let's just break those down uh, a little bit here. So a normal IRA is kind of similar to like a 401k plan where you get the benefit of putting the money in and deferring it instead of reducing the money when you put it in in line one of the form 1040, it's gonna be an above the line deduction because it wasn't pulled out of like your W-2 wages. And instead it has to be that above the line deduction. A Roth IRA, is, is a situation where now you don't get the tax benefit when you put the money in, but you get the tax benefit basically when you take the money out. Why would they do that? The government, once again, trying to incentivize you to put money and save it. Now, what if you're in a situation where you don't have that much tax right now at this point in time, because your income is fairly low, or you think that the government is spending massive amounts of money and at the point of retirement, the tax rates are gonna have to go up at some point in time or something like that. So I'd rather take the hit now than pay the tax later because something's gonna hit the fan at some point. You might think something like that. Well, in that case, then it wouldn't be an incentive to use the IRA because you're not paying much taxes or you think the taxes will be worse later when you're gonna be hit with them. So then you could put money in using a Roth IRA where you basically pay the taxes now, but you get like the benefit of the earnings. And when you take it out, you don't have the, you get the benefit at that point. So it would be nice to have a little bit in both something like a Roth and a, a normal IRA. So at the point of retirement, we can live on income, which is only part taxable, right? So if I got, if I lived on a hundred thousand and half of it came from an IRA and half from a Roth IRA, only the half, the 50,000 from the taxable IRA would be subject to tax, which means I could be living on 100,000, but only paying taxes on the 50,000, which would be a lower income threshold. And, and that means in our progressive tax system, we'd be paying a substantially less amount of tax, right? So that would be ideal if possible. But again, most people are putting money in from a 401k plan. And so they're somewhat kind of limited tied to work. And we'll talk about those possibly later. Then you got the simplified employee pension, uh, a SEP plan. Now this is gonna be kind of like a 401k plan, but it's gonna be for smaller businesses because 401k plans are quite expensive to manage. And if you're a sole proprietor, you might set up a SEP type of plan for yourself to be able to put more money in than you otherwise would in like an IRA. We might talk more about that when we get to Schedule C's and a saving incentive match, a simple, same, similar kind of concept. That's kind of like a 401k for a small business trying to mirror some of the benefits that can be provided and possibly giving more ability to the owner to put money into something like an IRA to get the tax benefit from it without the burdensome prospect of making a 401k, which is quite burdensome. So except as otherwise uh, provided next, leave line 4A blank and enter the total distribution from for, uh, form 1099R box one on line 4B. So remember, we're talking about the distribution side of it. We're taking the money out now that had been put in to say an IRA. 